The idea of maths and physics going together is something that's pretty obvious. You can roll a ball down a hill, measure how fast it goes, fit mm-hmm. an equation, work out what's going on behind the scenes, that kind of thing. But people have tried in the past quite a few times to do the same thing for humans, and it's proved to be quite tricky because we are prone to silly things like decisions <laughs> and sort of free will. Some better than others. Sort of stuff. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, so, but that's kind of changed really in the last 10 years or so, maybe a little bit longer, which is that we now have data for absolutely everything that we're doing. And so you can look through that data and start to study ourselves as humans in the same way that you can physical systems. And it's still a lot messier, granted, Mm -hmm. but there are ways to pick up on little patterns that you can find on the data. And what what are these patterns then? Hit me with with the big ones, what are are your favourites? My favourites, the one that I really like is the way that people move around when they're just walking. Because the thing is, is that quite often you can be in a massive square where it's really busy, lots of people walking in different directions, and somehow or other you manage to avoid walking into other people. Mm-hmm. And it's actually because people automatically adjust their path based on what's going on around them without even necessarily realising that that's what they're doing. You're kind of looking at somebody, gauging their speed and adjusting your speed ever so subtly to, to manage to just miss them. Mm-hmm. And this, um, the, the sort of hidden interactions, if you like, between people is uh, most obvious when you put people in a confined space. So, for instance, if you are walking down a corridor, right, a really busy corridor, best example is a school corridor when the bell's just rung. So there's loads of people in the corridor and they're all walking in different directions. So some people are going that way, some people are going that way. When you're in that situation, you effectively have two choices, right? You can either just ignore everybody, put your head down and kind of barge your way through, Right, which is like the rude way to do it. <laughs> or you can do what everyone else does, which is to pick someone who's going in the same direction as you and then follow them, right? You kind of do this at train stations as well. Mm-hmm. Um, but what that means is that because people are making these kind of invisible connections with other people, you end up with these lanes of traffic that form from nowhere. So next time you're in a busy corridor, mm-hmm. if you kind of look above the heads of people, you will... I guarantee you will see that there are these lanes of traffic that are formed from nowhere. So often it's you get people on one side, on either side rather, walking in one direction and then people down the middle walking in another direction. And that kind of stuff, nobody ever said, if you're going in that direction, walk in that mm. lane and that direction in that lane. But that's the kind of thing that people do automatically just because we're subtly influencing each other's behaviours. And that is something that you can really only analyse if you're looking at human behaviour through that lens of data and mathematics. What about the example, though, that I seem to... Well, everyone experiences it. When there's two of you, and then you walk, and then you stop, and then you... Yeah, yeah, exactly, the mirror dance. You're like, you're both kind of... Well, I'm not sure about that one. I don't think I've seen anyone do that You know who is good on that, though? There's a guy called um, Johnson. He says that if you walk down the street and you decide that you're not getting out of anyone's way, then people will get out of your way. It's worth trying. It's quite fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it just completely disproves your whole model about... Well, I guess maybe not. It's well, no, because you can still have people who, are, who don't care about, yeah. you know, about making those kind of interactions and that's what makes modeling humans so tricky because you do have people who buck the trend Mm -hmm. you can't ever capture absolutely everybody